Hey you guys and welcome to the Polymer Clay Bakery. Today we're going to be baking up some nice strawberry donuts, chocolate strawberry donuts. So if you want to learn how to make these delicious donuts, then stay tuned. The materials you're going to need are the bead colors of your choice. You can use, you would probably want to use a uh, green and red, but you could use blue and white if you want. You're going to want some eye pins if you want to be able to attach them. Like sh so. So that you can make a nice necklace. So these are the eye pins. You're going to want some it's polymer clay. You're going to want the brand Sculpey 3 for all of these. Now if you see colors that you like better in different brands, then you can go right ahead and buy them. But we're going to be using Sunshine. Just regular green. That's what it's called. Just red. And this really gorgeous brown and hazelnut. And now you're probably thinking, why aren't we using brown? Brown is really dark in Sculpey 3. And um, so you're going to want to use a, probably a lighter one unless you want this color. This color is pretty dark. Now this is a little red. It's not really showing up on camera. But I personally like hazelnut better. So now let's just get on with the tutorial, with ha the baking part of it. So the first step you're gonna wanna do is get a ball of the brown color. Just get a ball of the... clay and just kind of mush it up and just condition it with your fingers until it is the, the softness you want and just put it into a ball and just be rolling your hands like this um, anything that you would like to do so I'm just going to do that until there's none of these little creases in the ball and until it's soft and easily so you can easily move it around so I'm just gonna keep doing that. So once you have the ball, I'm just gonna you're gonna wanna take like a thick toothpick. I just have this tool that I got from a little pack that I got of a, a bunch of Sculpey from, but you guys can use whatever. You're gonna wanna poke the middle of this circle and make sure that it's still gonna be round. And then where you have this little hole, you're going to want to poke that. Just like that. And just push it down. And just keep on doing it until you think it looks the same on both sides. And shape it to how you want. And now you need to move on to the next step of doing the frosting. So you're going to want to pick the color of your choice for the frosting. And you're going to want to... And so you're going to want to pick the color. I would recommend a lighter color. This is sunshine. And let's um, move on. You're just going to want to knead it into a small ball. Not as big as you did for this. About half that size. And once you've done that, let's come back. So once I've done that, I'm going to... Just press it down. And then I'm going to press it down until it fits onto the donut. And it gets dirty easily. And then you're going to want to press that down onto the donut. Oh my gosh, that's a loud car. And then you're going to want to stab it. And 
and then you can smooth it out. And now let's get on to dec the decoration part of it. So you're going to want to take a piece of the red. Ah! Sorry. There's a piece of the red. And you're going to want to take a piece. Sorry about that. That's my family. They won't just let me work in my bakery. They're watching the baseball game. So once you, and so you're just gonna wanna. Kinda make a. Triangular, round triangle. Triangular shape. And look at how big that is. So you're gonna wanna tear a little polymer clay off and shape it again. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that it'll fit. And once you know it'll fit, Push it on. And just make sure it's the normal size. You may want to fix it. Just trying to make it perfect. Make sure you're proud of your work. So once you have your little strawberry on there, you're gonna wanna take some of the green. And just apply it on there like it's a stem. Like it's the little leaf part. Just do it a couple. Just like that. And then you're going to want to take the tool that you use to make the hole. And just make little holes on the strawberry. And now you're going to want to apply all of the beads that you want. So let's do that and then we'll be back.